I'm blogging today to discuss some pressing issues in my life. So kids have been making fun of me for my music taste lately. They make fun of me because I don't listen to fucking that shitty pop fucking Jay-Z or Lady Gaga or whatever the fuck people listen to. I listen to Blood on the Dance Floor. And let me tell you, people have been coming up to me a lot saying like, you won't let them for long. When you realize how stupid they are, you won't like them. But I say back to them, that's a lie. I've, I've like, I may not have liked them long, right? But I was born. I was born to make babies with Dobby. I was born to suck his dick. I'm telling you guys, the whole purpose of my existence is to worship them on the dance floor and every move they make and every song they sing. I love them with every fiber of my being. Even as the darkness slowly penetrates the deepest crevice of my festering heart, I can sit here knowing that I have something to live for. My beautiful brands, B-O-C-D-F and B-B-B. They are my heart and they are my soul and they are all that I have to live for since my mom doesn't like me. I tell her this is who I am. That she can label me as emo, she can label me as goth, just like everyone else does. But all I really want is support. I say to her, she's a phase, mom. She really isn't a phase. You shouldn't judge me just because I'm different and just because I have a lisp. I swear, mom, I'm not even emo. This isn't a fucking phase. You cannot judge me for my life choices. You need to just learn to accept people for who they are and not judge them for every action they take and every taste of music they have. By the way, I hate conformists. If you're a conformist and you're going to hate on me just because I'm different, I think that you should SYG and pop it up like lipstick. So, you seem kind of like a, a, a bit wacky. Would you rather, do you have OCD or would you rather have like ADD? It seems like you may have possibly both of them. No, I don't have either one. Well, which one would you choose? I wouldn't. What do you mean you wouldn't choose one? Well, why would this I is this to? is a scenario in which I'm asking you a question. Though. Why wouldn't you choose one? I just don't want to. Well, are you, I mean, are you scared of having one? Is that like? It's, no, I just. It's a hypothetical it's like, situation. I mean, is right. it really that hard for you to imagine which one would you would rather have? Okay, I, I love this woman <laughs> because she is so mean <laughs> that in the wild, this is a woman you would turn your back on and walk away from, and use really harsh disconnects with to. Uh, you'd go talk to somebody else and then see if she came back later. But in, for the purposes of this, we wanted to keep on with her. Yeah, I mean, I think what I was thinking based on it, what you've seen prior about this woman is that the best way to connect with her is to have a conflict with her and to piss her off and to get her to see if she would soften at that point or or, or get her hyped up and see what happens. Yeah, like you said, you, you, you asked her this question. She said, I won't choose this. Well, is it really that hard for you? I mean, what a great, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a, a strong disconnect, but it really is what a woman who, who is, is this antagonistic is going to need to continue to just stay in the interaction. So let's watch some more. I mean, to me, like ADD, like you seem to have ADD because your eyes are twitching all over. Okay, I'll pick ADD. <laughs> or OCD, because it seems like you're obsessed with small little details. I mean, which, which, which one? Uh, OCD, yeah. Well, which one is it? The whole the question a was ADD. to pick one, and now you're, now you're fluctuating okay. as though you don't really have a formulated opinion. So I, I don't really understand I'll pick that. ADD. So just to break in here a second, so he's really going straight at her uh, in terms of, sounds like you don't have a formulated opinion. Um, but notice that she's laughing. He's pushed her, but she's laughing. Now this is a woman, if you've, I don't think we have any shots of her standing up, but she has large enough breasts that she gets approached all the time. And she's probably used to being a total bitch to guys or just turning and walking away if she doesn't like their approach. Now, here's got Ron, who's, you know, older and maybe looking kind of sloppy, something like that. Thanks so fucking lot. So he needs, to, he needs to, to keep her engaging. At this point, this is not something she can really easily walk away from because it's almost like her honor's on the line. But also she's always throwing out these bitch shields. So she usually says, go away, and everybody goes away rather than going right towards the conflict. This is a woman who will bitch shield you pretty hard in a, in a uh, bar, for instance. And if you're not willing to have conflict and get into some heat, it's going to be, you're going to get nowhere. What is your name? Jennifer. You're not going to shake my hand? Are you scared? Like, do you think I'm, am I that I think you're looking? a creep. Yeah. Well, okay. You say that with such a smile, though. Is that, is that? Because it's funny. I mean, it's funny when creeps come up and talk really? to you. Really? 